Hi everyone um, and welcome back to Vitality's Happy Half Term. If you're already just joining us, um, then we've got loads of things to keep you happy, keep you healthy and keep you busy during the half term break. Um, and there's loads of giveaways and prizes to be won as well. So make sure that you tag us in um, on all your activities and pictures and things that you're doing during this week. Um, we'd love to see them. And yeah, make sure you use the hashtag Vitality Half Term. Hi, good evening everyone and welcome. My name's Leon Taylor. I'm an Olympic silver medalist. Uh, I'm a yoga teacher and I'm Headspace Move Mode Coach. And tonight's session is a workout for your mind and your body. Um, what an absolute treat. I'm so excited. I'll be introducing you to some guests in a moment, but let's just start with thinking that and considering that the mind and the body are inextricably linked and we often spend time stuck in our busy heads and not enough time in our bodies. And what we're gonna be doing this evening, we're gonna be working through a series of movements to get us out of our heads and into our bodies, combining movement and breath and paying attention to what we're doing. So it'll be a slightly different feel this evening, but I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you. So at Headspace, we're looking to improve the health and happiness of people's minds. And as Move Mode Coach, we're gonna be doing that through connected movement and breath. Sound okay? All right, let me introduce you to those who are joining me this evening. Uh, can I introduce you to the McGills, Andy and Helen and their son, Ender? Give us a wave. Ender, are you ready? He's just checking out the couch there before we start. Good man. Next up is uh, Catherine. So Catherine is our Vitality Kid. And Catherine, I do believe it is your 11th birthday tomorrow. So thank you for spending the last day of your 10th uh, year on this planet with me and Vitality. And then finally joining us is Claire and Rafa the dog. Here they are, well done. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Okay, so before we start, the most important thing is that you look after yourselves. So if I invite you to do any movements and it doesn't feel good in your body or you move into any pain, then stop, change it, or skip it completely. The only thing you are gonna need today or this evening is a space that you can train in. So if you're working out with other people, make sure that you've got enough elbow room. A yoga mat's worth of space is plenty. And then the only other thing, if you've got one, it's a water bottle or some water nearby because we're gonna be working through mobility, stability, strength, and some capacity, so it might get a little bit sweaty. Is everyone ready to go? Give me a wave, guys. Catherine, the McGills, you ready? And Claire, Rafa? Perfect, okay, let's stand up and make our way to the space that we're gonna be training in. And just take a moment to check your space, make sure that you've got enough room and then decide, as I have in advance, whether you're going to be wearing trainers or not. I've decided not to wear any trainers, which is fine. And I've made sure that I've got a yoga mat beneath me. We're going to start with breathing awareness. So just standing upright, roll the shoulders up and back. And then I want you to place one hand on your belly and then start to breathe and follow the breath. So inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Just settling things down. We're gonna stay here for a few moments. Inhale through the nose. Notice how the belly pushes into the hand and then exhale through the mouth. A few more times, inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Good, and again, inhale through the nose. Really noticing the breath and then exhale through the mouth. Okay, keep the breath at that steady pace. Just let the arm come down by your side. Breathing through the nose and out through the mouth. A couple of shoulder rolls. Just seeing what's happening in the body. Shoulder rolls up and back. And then forwards. Good, taking it nice and easy. All right, now let's have a stretch. So where we are live now, it's the evening. We need a stretch after today. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's good to have a stretch at any time. So as we stretch up, we expand into the body, but keep the awareness on the breath and really start to tune in to what's going on in your body. And let the arms come down by the sides and let's shake off the day. Are you ready, everyone? So shaking into the hands, the wrists, the forearms, shake into one leg, shake into the other. How are you getting on, everyone? Shaking it out, good. We've maybe spent a little bit long sitting down. This is time to move, great. Okay, once you've had a little bit of a shake, let's just come back to that breathing and start by opening into the chest. I'm gonna turn side on so you can see me. Interlace your hands behind your back and then squeeze the shoulders together, squeeze the elbows together and just feel that lovely opening into the chest. 
across the shoulders, maybe move into a gentle back bend here, but once again, the reminder is to follow the breath. Often when we start moving, our concentration increases and we start holding the breath. So make sure the breath is steady and deep. And then release, good, shake out the arms and legs. We're gonna head down to the ground now, so make sure you've got that comfortable surface. A hip and arm stretch, so bending one knee and placing the other one out in front of you. Follow me by lifting the arms up towards the ceiling and then gently melting into those hips. And then lower the arms down. This time lift one arm up and bend over to the side, stretching into the side body. And then coming back, other arm up and over to the opposite side. Good, that's it. And then back, and now we're going to twist. Twist one way, nice and steady, working on our mobility. And then twist the other way. Good, carefully swap sides. If you need to massage the knees, go ahead and do that. Make sure you're nice and steady. Exactly the same again, other side. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then come down, one arm up and over, stretching into the side, and down, other arm up and over, you got it, great, and down, and then twisting one way, nice and steady, really concentrating on the movement, twisting the other way, and come back. Okay, come back onto a kneeling position. Now we're going into what we call at Headspace the world's greatest stretch. Now let me know on social media what you think, whether it is the world's greatest stretch. I'm at Leon Taylor GB. We're going up into a downward dog. So this is an upside down V position, pushing your tailbone up towards the ceiling, having a bend in the knees so you can get the chest close to the thighs. And then the right foot comes forwards to the outside of the right hand. So we're staying here, option to lower the elbow down towards the ground to increase the stretch, that's just an option. Carefully place both hands down, bend the left knee, now we're gonna stretch into the hamstring, so straighten the right leg, hands on the hips, find your balance, and lean forwards. Yeah, good everyone, lots going on. All right, carefully make our way out of that one. Coming back into that start position, upside down V, downward dog. Other side, left foot forwards to the outside of the left hand. That's good. You can always drop the elbow down for an extra stretch if your body will allow, or you go with what your body will give you. Place the left hand down, bend the right knee, and then lift up the upper body nice and carefully. Flex that left foot, hands on the hips, and then lean forwards and feel that lovely opening and stretch into the hamstrings as we complete the world's greatest stretch on both sides. Okay, hands down, collect yourself. We're going to come up to standing, but roll up to standing with the chin, the last to lift, taking it nice and steady. Shoulders up and back, shake it out. Let me come over to the screen. How are we doing? Everyone good? All right, so let's move on to some stability now. This is where our balance is going to come in. Let's start with a crescent lunge. Stepping one foot forward, step the other foot back, and then reaching up your hands towards the sky. Finding a nice stable base here, and we're just strengthening into the legs as well. Holding here for a few rounds of breath. Remember, it's all about linking movement and breath. You're doing great. And then let the arms come down, bring the feet back together. Just let that go for a moment, and then we'll do the other side. So other foot forwards, reach back, lifting those arms up into the lunge. And notice how your body has to work hard to find the balance. You're on the back toes. Keep breathing, nice and steady, soften the muscles in the face, and then release that coming through. Okay, ready for this one, working on our balance. So as a diver, I needed to be very much in tune with my balance, but I always wobble on one leg. Let's see how we get on. I'm gonna start my timer. We're gonna do each side for 30 seconds. This is called three-way toe taps. So everyone lift up one leg into a karate kid position, tap forwards, Tap to the side and then tap behind and come back to Karate Kid. Forwards, side, behind and continue. That's 10 seconds. Let's see if we can remain balanced. I can't, I'm wobbling all over the place. I hope you're doing better than me at home. Step forwards to the side and behind. Another five seconds on this side and then we'll go to the other side. Good balance, Catherine. Well done, the girls. Great stuff, Claire, keep going. And stop there. Okay, 
Shake out that leg, get ready for the other side. So lift up the left knee, find your balance, you got it. And off we go, tap forwards, out to the side and behind. See if you can tap just really lightly with your big toe or the tip of your trainer. So you're not putting too much weight down to add the balance. That's it, keep going. Actually, quite difficult talking and doing this at the same time. Glad that I got my breath and had some good food before we started. Three, two, one, and stop there. Okay, shake that out. Should be feeling a little bit more awake and alive now. Is that the case? Give me a thumbs up if that's the case. All right, now watch this one, a quick demo. We're doing what's called capital T. So I'm stepping to the side to show you. Arms reach up, step forwards, lower the upper body, lift the back leg. Look at that, a capital letter T from the side. And then we step back and we go again on the other side. That makes sense? Okay, let's do three of those on each side. Arms up above the head, step forwards, tip the upper body, lift the leg, move slowly. See if you can hold here, keep breathing, and then step back, other side. Inhale, arms up, step forwards, and then tipping forwards, capital T, and then step back. Okay, good. Two more on each side. Are you ready? Arms up, step forwards, capital T, with as much control as you can, working on your balance and stability. Step back. Other side, arms up, step forwards, and lowering down with control, using your breath, really tuning into the body. Doing great, everyone. Step back, last one on each side. Are you ready? Best one yet. Arms up, step forwards, tipping, reaching, kicking that foot back, holding, holding for a bit longer. Step back, last one. Okay. Arms up, step forwards, and capital T. Final rep, three, two, one, and stop there. Okay, shake that out. How's everyone doing, all good? You ready to move on to a little bit of strength work now? Feeling a bit warmer, nodding there from Catherine, not so much enjoyment from everyone else. Oh no, you're right, that's good. Okay then, let's just make sure our body's nice and warm. We're gonna be working on a squat variation, but just as a precursor to that, I want us to do some body weight squats. So join me with five bodyweight squats. Off we go, pushing those hips back, keeping the chin and the chest up, keeping the feet flat on the floor. And once we've done five, I just want you to pause there. Okay, we're gonna do a combination now for our strength training. We're gonna be doing curtsy lunges or curtsy squats, which look like this, as you step back on the other side. In fact, try that with me now, just do one curtsy lunge each side just to make sure, yeah, looking good everyone, well done, okay, pause there. The next exercise, we're gonna combine that with push-ups. So a couple of options, full push-ups on your toes, alternatively you can be on your knees. Okay, so those are the two exercises. We're gonna be doing 30 seconds of curtsy squats, 30 seconds of push-ups, I'm gonna do that twice through. Thumbs up. All good? Okay, curtsy squats. Let me get my watch ready. 30 seconds, quality of movement. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So as that back knee comes down towards the ground, I want you to keep your chin up and your chest up. And once you get into this exercise, you can really start to find what range of motion your body will allow. We're halfway through these 30 seconds and we're improving our strength. So we've gone from mobility to stability, and now we're asking the body to move mindfully, but we're working on our strength. Three, two, one, and pause there. Take a moment to notice your breath as we transition now into push-ups. Are you ready? Down onto the ground, 30 seconds of push-ups. Off you go. I recommend you choose a variation that you can maintain Keep going for the movement for the entire 30 seconds. So maybe you're used to push-ups. If you want the hands a little wider, you work a slightly different part of the body. Keep going, just keep an eye on the clock for us. Only 10 seconds to go, and then we stand up. Three, two, one. Okay, up onto our feet. 
Shake out the arms. We're halfway through the strength set. Is everyone feeling strong? Yeah? Okay, good. Are you ready for the curtsy squats? Let's go again in three, two, one, off we go. So these curtsy squats, moving side to side, finding a way to see if you can move even smoother. It's just 30 seconds of the exercise, so everyone is following along, you find the pace that works for you. Whatever range of movement your body will allow, you work with that. And when the mind wanders, and it will, just bring it back to the movement that we're doing and the breath. Three, two, one, and stop there. Okay, another 30 seconds of push-ups. I don't know about you, but my arms are tired. We're gonna to have to dig in for this one. Are you ready? Everyone down. And let's go, 30 seconds of push-ups. Your best effort, whatever that is for you. We're working on our strength. If you're holding your breath, just be aware of it and come back to that smooth breath. In and out, through the nose if you can, nice and steady. Final 10 seconds of push-ups. Almost there, three, two, and one, simple exercise, but effective up onto your feet. Come over, shake out those arms again. All right, look at this. Here we go, we're stripping off now. Helen's it's definitely warmed up. We're ready to go. How are you doing, Claire? All good? Rafa, is he asleep? Yeah, I think so. Okay, Catherine, you're looking really strong. Are you ready for this? This is the capacity training now. For the next five minutes, we're going to be raising our heart rate. I'm going to give you six exercises to do. I'm going to run through them very quickly now. First exercise is a jumping jack. So join me now with a few jumping jacks. This is just a little bit of a warm up. Pause there. Exercise two will be our squat. And if you want to make it a bit spicier, you can do the squat jump. So squat or squat jump. All right, couple of takers there. Pause. Exercise three, a lunges, forward lunges. So you're stepping forwards, back knee lowers, and step back. Join me now with a few lunges just to let the body know what's coming. Yeah, okay, good on the lunges. Exercise four is our mountain climber. You're in a high plank position, and the knees come up to the chest. He's been popular all week. Lots of the vitality workout, a great exercise. So do a couple of mountain climbers. Make sure that you're ready for those. Okay, on your feet, exercise five, one of my favorites, side bounds. Step to one side and to the other. A bit like you're an ice skater. These are sometimes known as ice skaters, but let's call them side bounds as you bound from side to side. Yeah, looking good. Last exercise. It's a jog in place. It looks like this, but I reckon we've got a bit more in the tank. So if you want it, we can reach the arms up towards the sky with high knees and high arms. All right, you ready for that one? Yeah, looks good. Okay, five minutes. Are you ready? Five minutes of capacity training. Give me a thumbs up. All right, let's start the watch. Jumping jacks, 30 seconds, and then we get a 10 second break. Are you ready? Three two, one, let's go. So finding a nice pace to your jumping jacks. Alternate are just stepping out to the side. If your knees, and you're working with knees or any injuries, but jumping jacks or a variation thereof, as long as you're working for 30 seconds, we're improving our capacity to train. 10 more seconds of jumping jacks. Can you stay nice and light on your feet? And can you smile all the way through? Three, two, one, and pause. So active recovery, just march on the spot. You've only got 10 seconds, and we're into our 30 seconds of squats. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So this is where it gets interesting. The body, you're asking a lot out of your body. Can you maintain a quality but move it. Remember, if you want more, you can join me on these jump squats. Imagine that you were a frog leaping up from the ground and you keep going. So it's halfway. So we've got 15 seconds to go. You're doing great. Keep going. 
Last five seconds. Three, two, one, and pause there. Shake out those arms and legs. Active recovery. Well done. Four exercises remaining of this little section. Forward lunges are coming up. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Stepping forwards, returning to where you started. Back knee comes down towards the ground. And you continue for the entire 30 seconds at the pace that you can manage. So it doesn't matter how many repetitions you're doing, it doesn't matter how low you're able to go, what's important is that you keep going. Five more seconds, three, two, one, and pause there, well done. Okay, everyone's still with me? 10 short seconds, mountain climbers coming up. Down on the ground, three, two, one, away you go. So shoulders over the wrists, hips in line with the shoulders. Should be feeling nice and warm now, reaching the peak of our session, halfway. Keep going. 10 more seconds of these mountain climbers. If your bum is creeping up towards the sky, see if you can keep it down low. You've got this, everyone. Three, two, one, and up onto your feet. 20 seconds. Let's just notice if, like me, you're starting to get very warm, active recovery. So just keep a light march on the spot, side bounds, and then a jog in place to finish. So 30 seconds of these side bounds. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So bounding side to side, just stepping across, keeping a bend in the knee is an option. You choose, depending on how much space you've got. I know the McGills are having to squeeze in three of them in their front room. Make sure you've got enough grip on the ground. Keep going. You're in the final five seconds of these side bands. We're training our capacity, but can we keep one eye on the breath? Stay with it. Three, two, one, and pause. Okay, you ready for this last exercise? We go in five seconds. Are you ready? A jog in place. Three, two, one, let's go. So we're jogging on the spot. If you want to join me and you want to finish with fireworks, let's change this jog in place to something a little bit more challenging, which you're reaching up with the Arms, high knees, high arms, or just jogging in place. You've only got 10 seconds. Let's do this together. Five, keep reaching, keep going. Three, keep going. Two, one, and stop jogging. Come over to the screen and give me a high five. Fist bump. Well done, Catherine. Well done, Claire. Well done, the McGills. Wonderful. So I want you to keep the body moving now. So one of the most important things when we've been training our capacity is that we don't stop. I know our body's saying, stop, stop, stop. But I want us to just move into our warm down now. So let's start by shaking it off and just letting those arms and legs recover. And as you can hear, whew, we need to catch the breath. So go ahead and start to notice how amazing your body is. Pay attention to the fact that your heart rate is already starting to lower, that your breath is coming back under your control. And by shaking the arms and the legs, this recovery shake allows us to flush the body of the things it doesn't need anymore from moving vigorously, as we have done, as we start to wind down now with five minutes to go of this session. Well done, everyone. Give yourselves a round of applause and a pat on the back. And let's just make sure we can stretch out our body so we leave feeling energized and vital as we finish this session. Okay, come to standing. Make sure there's a little gap in between your toes and heels. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. Bend one elbow and then start to stretch into your upper arm tricep. So pulling the elbow over to the side. Once you've got a stretch in your tricep, then bend over towards the side that you're pulling the elbow towards. So you stretch into the ribs, into the lats, Side body stretch, really nice. Can you continue to breathe smoothly? If you're holding your breath, you're trying too hard. Inhale to come back up. Exhale, arms down, give the arms a shake. Other side. Arms up, bend the elbow, pulling over to the side, just to start with for the tricep stretch. 
and then shifting the hips over as you gently stretch into the other side. Lateral side flexion from the heel to the top of the elbow in this case. Inhale up and then exhale, arms down by the sides. Let's move into those quads. If you need to balance on anything, make sure that you've got a, a place to, to reach out to. Pull the heel towards your glute. Find that lovely stretch and then just pull the heel a little closer as you feel that lengthening into the quadriceps, into the thighs. And then slowly release and switch sides. Keep the knees in line. It doesn't matter whether your heel touches your bum or not, but you're pulling it gently, smoothly in that direction. So a nice stretch out into those quads. And then let's make our way down to the ground. So however you want to make your way down to the ground, come to a seated position. We're going to bend the knees and then lie down on our back, cross the right foot across the left thigh, and then gently push the knee away. If you know figure of four, you can lift up the left shin as you pull the knee in. So we're just working into stretching the hips, making sure everything's easing nicely. We're approaching the end of our time together. Well done, everyone, but please stay with me. These very important recovery stretches leave us feeling more energized, release, swap sides, outside blade of left foot on the right thigh, push the left knee away. Option to move into the figure of four. And then place the right foot down, left foot down. Grab hold of the back of your knees, pull the knees into your chest and then rock and roll up and down the spine two or three times to come to seated. And so, uh, feet out in front of you. Bend the knees and then see if you can reach up and touch your toes. Look at this, I used to fall off a diving board for a living, so a pike shape is something I'm very familiar with and I can still get my toes. So wherever you can get to, reaching forwards, stretching into those hamstrings. So good. Well done, everyone. All right, let's twist it up to finish. So coming out of your pike fold, Bend the right knee, lift up the right foot and place it to the outside of the left knee. And then place your right hand behind you, near your lower back. Reach the left hand up and then we're twisting. So hug your right knee, lift and twist and look over your right shoulder. So we're not forcing the body here, we're just gently moving the body. And remember, what's happened to your breath? Is it slow and steady? Just encouraging the breath and bringing yourself back into the body and the movement that we're doing. Slowly untwist, uncross the legs, bend the left knee, left foot to the outside of the right knee, left hand behind you, inhale right arm up and then hug your left knee so you can lift and twist as you turn to look over your left shoulder. Seated spine twist, lengthening through from tailbone to the top of your head without forcing the body and if the mind has wandered, Bring it back to the sensations in the body. You've got it. And then slowly untwist. And just for a moment, we're going to lie down on our back with our knees bent and place our hands on our belly. And then notice the breath. Remember what we did at the beginning, the breathing awareness. So inhale through the nose. And exhale smoothly through the mouth. Continue here for just a few more rounds of breath as you focus on the awareness of your breath in the body. And you let everything settle down again after our session. Take a moment to silently acknowledge yourself for doing the hardest thing in any workout, which is rocking up and doing it. So 100%, well done everyone. Okay, let's make our way up to seated and I'll just come over to the screen and say well done to my special guest, the McGills. Well done, Catherine. Superb effort. And the same to you, Claire. It's my pleasure to lead you through this 
uh, session this evening. If you want to find out more about Headspace, please check out the app. Um, if you want to find out more about me, I'm Leon Taylor GB on social. Please let me know what you're up to. And of course, you know, there's lots of prizes available. So if you take any photos of yourself doing any of these activities, you can hashtag Vitality Half Term, tag in Vitality and me. And then let's see how you uh, got on this evening. Um, I'm really looking forward to the rest of the week. Uh, you can always watch this again on YouTube. Maybe you even are. Maybe you even are already. Wow, I'm still out of breath. I hope you are too. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye.